Today's golf tip is going to show you how to be a much more consistent player. You'll be able to hit the ball to your target with power, with regularity, hit more fairways, hit more greens. If you can do these two simple little adjustments in your swing, you're gonna see beautiful golf shots like that every single time. So a lot of golfers come up to me and they say, Tom, I want to be more consistent. That's all I want. Just give me consistency and I'll be happy the rest of my golfing life. And I say, okay, that's great. Let's look at your swing. So we look at the swing and we see this. The club face is pointed vertical, pointing down to the ground like this, and the wrist is cupped like this. And these two things are a big recipe for off the planet slices, just keeps going away, it's never coming back. Well and so we end up having to fix some of the most dreadful golf swing problems by doing these two simple little adjustments. Club face is the start direction of your golf ball. So when I've got it pointed vertical like this, look at it, it's wide open, wide open. Ball is going off the planet. Another thing that happens with these open club face players, they have to swing over the top and down just to get the ball to start more straight. So you're losing power and there's no way you're gonna be consistent from there. We have to change from that, rewind a little bit, change from that to something more like this. A flat wrist with a square club face so you can get the club on the proper path. The ball will start to your target or actually is gonna curve a little bit more with a draw instead of going off the planet. We're gonna change from this old program of hitting the ball off the planet into a new program of hitting the ball straight. And all I want you to do is think about how your wrist is working at the top of the backswing, how your club face is working. Go ahead and hold the club out with your lead hand, your left hand if you're a right hand player, and stretch your arm out. Now take that to the top of the backswing. You should see here from this position, if you did this correctly, you should see a flat lead wrist and a flat arm right there. That area is flat. The club face angle is going to match the angle of this arm or get really close to it. Now the big problem you're having is this. So the way you correct this is you need to train your wrist to go more this way. Feel like your lead palm is facing down at the top of the backswing. So palm down. We'll get your club face squarer it's also going to get your path to be better in the downswing. And it's so simple, it's so simple. Meaning you don't have to go spend a whole lot of time thinking about angles. I just want you to think about palm down. When you go to the top of your backswing, palm down. Flat wrist, club face is square. You can play great golf from these two positions. Flat left wrist with a square club face, bowed left wrist with a slightly closed club face. But you can't really play good golf from this position, cupped wrist with an open face. Very few golfers have made that work. So if you're one of those players, you're just lucky. The rest of us, we need to do something like this, palm down. So go ahead, take your left arm to top of backswing, hold the arm out and go palm down. Feel that. Now with one hand, go to the top of backswing. Palm down, once again. Palm down is squaring up your face, flattening the wrist. Now put two hands on the club. Top of backswing, palm down. You might feel that your trail hand, your right hand, is bending back this way now, instead of being flat. So you're seeing this. That's magic for your game right there. Then we're gonna hit shots at about 20% speed feeling this, but we are going to break down the swing. So go to the top of your back swing, palm down, and then swing through. You should see the ball starting straight, not to the right. And in extreme cases, you might even see the ball go a little left, which would be a good thing because you're used to having your club face pointing way right, ball's going off the planet. Let me do that again because that felt really good. Now don't really worry if you're hitting good shots or not, just look at the straightness of the ball. Is it flying to the target? Top of backswing, palm down, hit. Ball's going to the target. And as you get used to that feeling, you can build it up into a fuller swing. Now, don't just go out there machine gun golf balls and say, Tom, it didn't work. Because when you machine gun golf balls, nothing good comes from that. You know that. Be patient. 
making a change. Change takes time. Next, we build it up into a fuller swing about 60 or 80 percent. Top of back swing, rehearse palm down. Go ahead and hit the ball. Boom. That felt really good. Ball is hanging on a string, going straight out there. Why? Because the palm down has the club face squarer than where it was before. And there's a good chance that this wrist and forearm angle right here is nice and flat, not cupped. Slicer, fun, draw on the golf ball. You know what? We do it all over again because that's fun. Palm down. So here we go, top of backswing, palm down. Ball flying very straight. When you can get that palm down with that kind of straightness, and yes, it works with every club, even the driver, even the long irons, everything in the bag, you're gonna hit a ton more fairways. You're gonna hit a ton more greens. You're not gonna be spending your time in some person's backyard where their dog is guarding all the golf balls with the fenced in area. You're spending more time in the fairway watching everybody else searching for their golf balls in some neighbor's backyard. So as you go to work through this, you're gonna get better at hitting the ball straight. You're gonna have a lot more fun. You're gonna need something to keep you fine tuned. That's why I recommend you check out my golf school, Segudo.golf. In it is a structured golf swing learning program that will keep you playing your best golf right now. You build up your swing so you can hit the ball consistently clean, far and straight to your target. What else do you want in life? Life is far too short to play bad golf. So don't waste it playing bad golf. Do things like this to hit the ball straight to your target with regularity. That's so much more fun. So Segudo Golfers, thanks for tuning in today. Go palm down for the win. You can click here. Check out my website, segudo.golf. You can click here to subscribe to my channel for more awesome golf content. And here are two selections from the Segudo Golf Archives designed to help you play your best golf right now. I look forward to seeing you in a future episode.